All right, I am in Cigar Town, Reston Town Center, with my main man, Jeremy. We've talked about it a couple of times on Urban Shooter Podcast, and now we're going to talk about my favorite cigar. I've only tried one so far of the um, House Blends. We're going to talk about House Blends, and this Barber Pole is the cigar of the week. Jeremy, welcome to the Urban Shooter Podcast, man. Thank you for allowing me to do this, and let's talk about this thing. Anytime, Ken. This is actually done for us by Victor Sinclair. Uh, we call it our Barber Pole. It's an alternating Connecticut as well as a Maduro wrapper. Uh, you get the nice, sweet, creamy consistency with the Connecticut blend uh, as well as the sweet, spicy Maduro wrapper that's on it. Uh, all around great, consistent cigar. Uh, it's got the Perfecto tip or the Figurado tip, which helps for a nice, great draw in the beginning, as well as a Torpedo tip for a nice, constant, consistent, tight draw that's in the cigar. Uh, very good mild to medium body cigar. Pretty much anybody can smoke this and sort of get a feel for what every part of a cigar is like uh, from the blend to the binder to the wrapper to the filler to where to see pretty much how all of it sort of comes together and sort of how all of it takes shape in a cigar. So it's a very good all around even for a beginner all the way up to an aficionado. It's a big gauge cigar though. Uh, you're looking at... I want to say between a 54, uh, about a 54 ring gauge. So it's not too bad. So even for the size that it is, if you're looking for something, you know, probably about a good hour smoke, 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how much you pull on the draw, it's not something that's going to be too terribly bad. Uh, I've got a lot of guys that come in here that are regulars that actually take this out to the golf course to get them, you know, through the first few holes. So they come in, get about five or six, and they've got a full round of 18 holes on there. So it's not too bad, depending on what you're using it for. Yeah, on your recommendation alone, I went and bought one. I missed you when one day you weren't here and took it home, waited till the sun went down, sat on the porch, and, man, I was loving this thing. I had a good time um, until the bugs chased me out, but I, I was smoking it down until it got to, like, way down here. And I thought, all right, all right, this, this gets my recommendation for the cigar of the week because I did not want to put it down. I didn't care about any of the stuff that was going on outside. I was just happy to be sitting there enjoying life, and uh, this is good stuff, man. It's, it's, it's definitely become one of my favorites. Between this one and the one that we have from Pepin that's in the cabinet, these two are actually some of my big top cigars. Uh, the other thing with this one is just the, the difficulty in the roll itself. You know, mm -hmm. me being a roller, I won't try this. This takes a lot of time, a lot of experience to do between the alternation of the cigars and how you actually have to cut the wrapper itself to get it to work. It's... It's definitely a masterpiece. In fact, Fuente does one called Between the Lines. Uh, some people also call it the work of art. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's definitely something that's, that's not simple to do. And I think that's what a lot of people, a lot of the aficionados really appreciate this cigar for more than looking at it as a gimmick. Tell me about these house blends. What does that mean? The house blends for us, you know, it's, it's our pride and joy. Uh, Hassan and Ali took a lot of time to get this whole concept going. And a lot of the manufacturers really like the idea. Uh, it's sort of a way of giving everything back to the brick and mortar shops from the way that it used to be. Uh, you know, a lot of people have the misconception when they first come in here, they see the cigars without any bands and they wind up thinking that it's a second or it's a throwaway, which it's not. You know, these are actually all premium cigars done for us by many of our major manufacturers. We have everything in here from AJ Fernandez to Fuente to Camacho. I've got PDR with Pinar Del Rio here, uh, Olivero cigars. Perdomo does a lot of our medium body or our mild body cigars, and you know Don Papin Garcia does one of the top selling cigars that we have in this cabinet, which took us a lot of negotiation to get that one in here. Uh, in fact, about six hours of negotiation for the first time, uh, because that's like I said, his private blend for you know his personal use, uh, and then about three hours to keep it in stock here in the store itself. So we're definitely very proud of what we've got in here. We're, you know, it took a lot of time to get it done, but it's actually taken off really well. As you can see, even now, after I just had a shipment, I'm already back to being short in a couple of my spots. So, you know, it's, it's definitely something that we're proud of. We're definitely one of the only stores that have been able to pull it off as well as we have. And, you know, I don't, I don't think it could have gone any better. Man, thank you for this. How can we find you online? www.kickashcigars.com. Uh, we're rebuilding the website a little bit, so bear with us, but you can get a general consensus for how the store is, where we're located, all three of the locations that we have, and just keep checking us out there for more uh, event information as well as any other thing that we've got going on in the store. Thanks, bro. Thank you, Ken.